What's up my lunatics? Welcome back to my channel. But if it's your first time, my name is Anastasia Luna and welcome. Alright guys, today going back to my favorite love bites. Uh, the song is gonna be Empty Daydream. Uh, some of you suggested it to me after I said that I want to hear the whole band singing so I'm really excited to see if um, all the band members actually do some ad-libbing or uh, maybe some harmony but first if you guys like the video please give me a thumbs up because it really helps me out and if you like the channel itself please subscribe also as you know I'm a rock singer myself I'm not a phantom divine, So all my videos, all my stuff, all my music videos, my Spotify, my iTunes and stuff like this are going to be in the description of this video. So if you have a second, please check it out. Let me know what you think and let's go. Love Bites, Empty Daydream. <clears throat> oh, I love when she plays piano. Mi Miyako, right? That's the name. Casually putting hair behind her ear. So, this is Rachmaninoff's piece, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember which one's been too long. So elegant. Very interesting. Just let me go away Just let me go Let's stop uh, before um, the actual big part starts. Uh, I know you guys told me that um, uh, the lead singer, uh, she actually comes from R&B kind of bluesy background. And wow, I definitely can tell, the, can tell that she actually comes from that background. Such bluesy notes, such... It's like two different things. I, at some point I was like, did it switch the singer recently? Did somebody from... Just, 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 blah, blah, blah. 2019 was singing for them and it's not singing for them now this is very very interesting what i hear what i've been hearing so far and this very bluesy very interestingly placed in her voice literally sounds completely different i'm sure they're gonna break into the actual um, metal part of the song but very very interesting also i like how she looks i like the um more natural kind of um brownish hair color on her she looks so different is it the same singer? She sounds different. It's crazy. I also, it's very interesting choice for me that the piano is turned away from uh, the singer. And if you if you see uh, Miyako, ah, I hope I hope I'm pronouncing her um, name right. At the end of the piece, she went and one and two, like she counted with her with her um, arm, 
and then she started playing because she doesn't see the thing and usually it's kind of like you look at each other and you kind of go um very interesting i wonder if, she, if why they didn't place it facing the crowd or the singer i mean i know she has to switch from the piano to the guitar really quick but i feel like it wouldn't be too hard to have piano facing the audience and then your guitar being here i don't know i'm sure they had a reason for that again very interesting choice wow love 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 the bluesiness in her voice so soothing and so oh perfect all right let's go into the metal part of the song face is just <laughs> This seems like a uh, a little bit of a lower budget uh, show. Oh yeah, it is her. She has that glottal strokes. Right, let's start before the second verse. This is very different from what I'm used to uh, here from Love Bites. And I think this will be my favorite song so far. I think I did maybe three, four reactions. This is like my fourth or fifth one. I'm not sure. And by far, this is my favorite song. And um, just not about Love Bites. Uh, the other day I had a conversation with my... not. You know, not the other day. I always have this conversation with people that don't really listen to metal and don't know metal. And the, the first thing, they're like, oh, do you know Tool? Oh, do you know? And they, they give me this, like, American bands, uh, which nothing wrong with that, you know? But, like, metal has so many colors and so many different subgenres and styles underneath the umbrella of metal. And when I tell them I'm a metal singer, they're like, oh, really? You scream? That's awesome. Oh, you have that raspy, cool voice? And I'm like, no, not even close. I'm classically trained and I have a very clear voice and I just I uh, Europeans are much better um, with understanding what metal is uh, you don't need to uh, screaming is is a different it's a different subgenre of metal screaming and growling and all that stuff you know kind of like in this moment you know avatar all of those things it's like kind of like melodic death metal and then there is a symphonic metal and then there's this and that and this and that and there are so many subgenres and all of them intertwine between each other and literally like almost you know a couple times a week definitely somebody comes to me and says oh you're a metal singer oh how, how do you growl how do you how do you scream so like what do you do and i'm like I, I, and i show them myself they're like that's not metal and i'm like wow like i, I Every 9,000 or whoever subscribers I have do not agree with you. This is just, I love this band because there's just so much within it. They, I, I'm classically trained and I love classical music and I love how they incorporate classical pieces. There was a Chopin um, piece when they were before, oh, I'm going to mess up right now. I don't remember the name of the song. I, I don't want to mess it up. Um, I love how they incorporate classical pieces into this. And uh, the lead singer's bluesy low register is... I always wanted to um, check out her voice when she was singing kind of like R&B kind of stuff. Uh, I'm not really like the, the, um, a crazy fan of that style, uh, but it was just it would be just very interesting for me. And wow, she actually blew my mind with this. Definitely going to be one of my favorite songs. Miyako's face kills me every time in a good way. She's just like... <laughs> awesome. Wow. What a well-rounded band. Wow. All right, let's go. I guess we're going into second verse, right?
Is it when they like just started or something? Because even the video, the quality of the video is not like super fantastic. All right, let me stop right here. I feel like they're going to go into one of those fantastic badass solos. Um, I should have researched it. I should know this by now. Um, I feel like, I don't know. Let me actually Google this live right now. Uh, when the band was actually formed, because I feel like this is like at the very beginning of their 2016. All right. So, I mean, three years after the band was formed, um, it, 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 you kind of can tell that, uh, I mean, there's not much, there are customs and everything, but they're not uh, looking as princessy and as perfect as, uh, you know, performances from 2020, 2021. You know, that they, they have different different hairstyles. Uh, this, the lead singer has uh, beautiful straight uh, hair, more of a natural style. Now when she sings, it's blonde and it's very princessy and, and the costumes are more grand and uh, Midori, right? That's the name, Midori, my favorite. Oh my goodness. Um, she looks... Um, she doesn't have these like blinge blonde like Barbie hair. She doesn't look like a Barbie. She looks like a, you know, like a woman. <laughs> I mean, all of them are fantastically. I I think they're actually very very beautiful. Like, but y you could tell that uh, it, it's it's uh, more of a it, it's there there was not money in this yet. I guess. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like even the video is not like a high budget video, which doesn't take away from their from their amazingness at all i actually love i actually prefer videos um like this from um the fr from earlier stages of the band because then you really see their talent there you really see their technique and how they started because there's like not much going on around them and the fires and the big stage and like you know props and big costumes and hair and makeup and you really see the raw talent which this band definitely has um i mean honestly they didn't even need all these stylists and, and bleached hair and everything they're beautiful as it is and they're absolutely perfect all right let's go into the guitar solo Oh, I guess Midori does have blonde hair there too. That's the first time I saw the drama smile. Ooh. Oh my god, let me stop for a second and just like, whoo! <laughs> Beautiful women playing instruments like that. It's just, it's just, I love how um, the dark haired girl, Miyako, uh, she's so elegantly sexy when she does those guitar solos. She's kind of like the ice princess kind of thing, and then she has like this leg. It's just, it's just so elegant and elegantly sexy you know it's not 
like sexy out there, but it's just so elegant and so pretty. And I mean, all of them, the lead singer is um, Asami, right? Asami, finally, God, Jesus, I need, really need to learn their names. Asami, she's very elegant. I always say that in all my videos. I always say she's so elegant. And I asked you guys if she uh, did study ballet at some point. And yes, apparently she did study ballet for quite some time. She's just, her posture and her arms and everything is just so beautiful and so elegant. Yo, this band is just, we. I know they're big. And they're getting bigger and bigger. And I hope as reactors, we do help to spread the word about this band. Um, and thanks to to you guys. I mean, I wouldn't know who they are. But we need to, like, get together and, like, just make them, like, mainstream popular. You know, all over the world. Like, they need to be a household name because these ladies deserve all the riches of this world. All right, let's go into the last part of the song. The leg. It's so elegant. I love how relaxing her voice is here. Oh, I thought it was going to start. The key. Sharp or something like that there. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, baby. I always had a soft spot in my heart for blues and all those, like all those kind of things. I did not expect this. And um, Asami sounds so different here and so much more relaxed. And I'm not saying she sounds bad or anything. I don't think they ever will sound bad or ever produce a bad song or ever have a bad performance because they're just so well trained. Um, but, but with the stuff that I've been hearing recently in the past, whatever, like, month, I uh, she has to go so full out right away. Their songs literally start right away with, like, doo -doo 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 -doo. and over here she actually get, ha had a chance to relax and ease into the song and just feel it and be in that lower register that is so easy for her. She can, like, be probably, like, sick and, like, asleep and she will be singing here perfectly. Oh, a perfect song. I also wonder who was singing the high harmony. I don't know the, 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 the melody. But there was a high harmony. And I wonder who was singing that high harmony. I understand they were all singing. And they should do that more often. Because that sounds amazing. But I wonder who was actually singing that high harmony on the chorus. Just kind of for my personal note. That's that. Can't say anything else. They're amazing. All right, guys. My name is Anastasia Luna. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And if you like the channel itself, please subscribe. Also, guys, as you know, I'm a rock singer myself. All the links to all my videos, my Spotify, my iTunes and stuff like this are going to be in the description of this video. So if you have a second, please check it out and let me know what you think. And like always, stay tuned for someone else.